this day and this video has been a long time coming. If you guys haven't been keeping up with my channel over the last several months, then you will not know that I have a series on my channel called Trying On Different Sizes. And I basically go into a ton of different clothing stores and try on a bunch of different sizes of their clothing and just kind of compare it to other brands, compare it to how it actually fits my body. And I like to really emphasize on the fact that as a mid-sized girl like myself, it can be kind of difficult to find where you belong in the size realm. I really try to focus on the fact that like whatever number or letter is inside your clothing does not matter. It literally doesn't mean anything. If there's one thing I want you guys to take from these videos, as I say every time, it's that wearing what feels good as opposed to like whatever restrictions you have set up in your head for what size you should be. Just wearing what fits, like honestly is iconic. Everyone should try it. So today is a day that I have been both very much looking forward to and also equally dreading because we're going to Walmart today. <laughs> I am not sitting here trying to pretend that I'm above Walmart. Love their prices, girl. Don't love some of the things they stand for, but that's another topic for another video. But Nonetheless, a ton of you guys have requested that I go into Walmart and try on a ton of their clothing and see how it fits. They are very strict about filming in there. I have seen several YouTubers go into Walmart for various videos and they have been asked to leave and like actually kicked out for filming. So I feel like I'm running a huge risk here. I mean, this video might turn into something completely different. Let's go into Walmart and try on some different sizes. One thing I've already noticed is there are so many workers and there's cameras everywhere and I'm just paranoid. It's okay, we're gonna get through this together. Let's go check out some jeans. The first thing I'm seeing that looks actually fascinating is this wall of like jeggings. This is what I need every time I look at a pair of jeans, honestly. I think I'm gonna try this, this very top pair here that just shows that it's a 12, 14, so we're gonna Test that out. These look very tiny, but it is a generous fit, so we'll see. I'm already noticing for not being here that long that this Time and True brand is very popular. They have like all different cuts and styles and stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the high rise ankle jegging. There's also this entire wall of the same brand, the Time and True, and there's all of these different cuts. I think I'm gonna grab just a few pairs of those too. I'm like drawn to this pair right here for some reason. Oh, and there are 12. <laughs> Love that. I also thought I should mention as far as inclusivity goes that that wall over there actually has a ton of plus sizes available and then this entire wall is plus sizes. So that's definitely good to know. To keep in mind for all my plus size babes, I'm seeing these little cuffed, like kind of cropped type of jeans and they're sized in odd numbers instead of even. So I don't know if I'm an 11 or a 13. I honestly have no clue so I'm gonna grab a few. Grab this pair. Sure, why not? I'll grab a pair of 13s as well. We shall see. Am I crazy for not knowing Walmart had this many jeans? Like, this is nuts. This is so freaking many. I'm shook. What should I get, pink? Hell yeah, why not? Hold up, they have a little island of jeans here and they're 778? Excuse me? Is this like what all the hype is about? I get it. Oh, bless you. I think I'm starting to get it. Also, this wash is so interesting. Okay. I have to try a pair of these. Got another little row here. I just, everywhere I turn, there's like another section of jeans. These have like a stretchy waist. So, I mean, yes, gonna try them. Can someone please explain to me why mid-rise exists? Like, does anyone want anything less than high-rise? Please let me know if you wear something different because I'm genuinely perplexed. I heard recently that low-rise jeans are coming back and to that I say, no ma'am. I rebuke. So I think I've got enough here. I think I have around 10 pairs and I'm gonna get a fitting room and try them on. Oh boy, <laughs> can't say I missed this very much. But here we are. I've done you all the courtesy of wearing bike shorts today, so you don't have to stare at my underwear. You're welcome. Okay, number one, here we go. We're back at it. Actually, these feel like pretty good size. Like they could feel like a good stretch and like that it's not it's gonna be a size large, but like won't fit. So have high hopes. They feel really good. Wait, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I know I like put on a couple pounds for the holidays, but like, come on. So this is as high up as they go because they are mid-rise. And if you can't tell, they're quite uh, tight in the crotchal region. You can definitely see the shorts bunched up underneath, but like, I mean, are they terrible? No, but my stomach like ends here. So it's kind of like, oh my God. 
I feel like without these bike shorts, I would just be like bulging over, which is not my cup of tea. Do they fit comfortably? I mean, kind of, but like, are they my favorite? Nah. I wish they were high-waisted. Like, honestly, they're kind of comfy. Like, I'd wear them around the house, I think. And as far as a size large goes, I'm actually really impressed because I have been used to the Forever 21 H&M deal where you wear a large, but it's actually like a medium. So, so far, I think we're off to an okay start. Next, we have this lovely pink pair, which I actually think pink jeans are hella cute. Size 13? I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Didn't miss all the sweat that comes along with these videos, I'm not gonna lie. So these are atrocious. Um, they're very tight, <laughs> if you can tell. My shorts are bunching up, like every little thing shows, every dimple, every cellulite, they're see-through. They don't fit at all, and these are a size above, supposedly, what I really am. I'm always so perplexed by that. Will someone please explain that to me in the comments? I might die before the end of this video. TBH, I think these are probably the worst, most unflattering jeans I've ever worn. So I wanna take them off like right now. Just for those of you out there that wanna know the reality of one of these videos, this ain't no Instagram filter face to This is real life. Next I'll be trying two more No Boundaries ones. These are both mid-rise skinny crops in different washes and in different sizes. These actually do feel pretty stretchy. Again, the mid-rise, like why, why are we doing this to ourselves? There's better options for us out there. You know it's gonna be rough when the ankle feels tight. Now this is a little better. I mean, definitely still a little tight. I think my bike shorts probably have a little bit to do with it because they add an extra layer. But I honestly have to say the tightest part about this pant is the ankle. <laughs> like this is as high as I can lift my leg. I'm literally getting like ankle bulge because it's so tight. Is Walmart okay? I mean, they definitely could be worse. They do fit like kind of the rest of the thigh slash butt slash waist area, but I literally can't lift past this. I wouldn't be able to like tie my shoes in these. Even though they are really stretchy, I'm gonna size up to the 15 and hopefully we will have more luck. Sweet, sweet relief. So we're sizing up to the 15, which is no big freaking deal. It is truly just a freaking number on the inside of freaking fabric. Really, think about that. Honestly, you guys, like the cut and everything isn't my choice and like the cuff and the croppedness and everything, but these jeans are like almost perfect. They fit really well, minus the mid-rise thing. Mm -hmm. But truthfully, I am not in any way, shape, or form mad at these, but I will say 15. Sure, Jan. This is just all very confusing. Okay, and now we're going to be moving on to the time and true brand. High rise, fits at the waist, fitted, ankle jegging. The size 12, so let's do this. So I'm very confused as to what part of this is high rise. I mean, when they said skinny jean, honey, they meant skinny jean. You guys will have to let me know your experience. I would say these run maybe a tad small. They are very stretchy. That part feels nice, but why can't they just, if they were like just this high-waisted, like they would almost honestly be perfect. I just noticed that there's been a broom and dustpan behind me this entire time. <laughs> Nonetheless, I don't think these are terrible. I think they're the best ones I've tried on so far. Next, we are going to do these No Boundaries High Rise Stretch Fabric Skinny Fit in a size 13. And the most interesting, bluest wash I've ever seen in jeans ever. They're finally a long pair of jeans. Bless the f up. Oh. In what universe are these wasted? I, I, I don't know what to say about this. I'm very uncomfortable. There is like uh, about an inch of bulging 
that's going on. These do not fit and I wanna take them off. Goodbye. Next, we're gonna try the first pair that I found, which are these very like stretchy, interesting jackets. Oh. Oh. Another example of why you don't look at the hanger. The hanger says large, 12 to 14, and these are a size extra small, zero to two. So, okay. I just don't think it was meant to be. Here we have these time and true. These are just like basic skinny jean. I don't know what rise they are. I think they're low rise and that kind of makes me want to die. We're gonna try it. I have to say this brand is very, very soft jeans. So that's at least one plus. You know, I'm getting a little tired of this. I feel like I look like the girl at my high school in 2004 who could fight. I don't like them, I think they're awful. I wanna take them off right now. Let's go to the last pair and hopefully we will end on a good note. Last but hopefully not least, we have the Time and True Sculpting Ankle Jegging High Rise Fits at the Waist Fitted. Size 14 beach. Please don't let me down. Yeah, baby. I'm honestly fine with that. Totally and completely fine with that. These remind me a lot of the skinny, basic skinny jeans that they have at Target, the Wild Fable brand. They're like almost identical. Again, they're cuffed, but you can always undo those. I can't say I'm totally shocked at the outcome because I feel like all sizes these days run really small, but I mean, I'm happy to end on a positive note and these are hella cute. Like honestly, give me my fake white Doc Martens and like, we've got an outfit. Woo! We made it fam. I didn't get kicked out, nobody confronted me, but I do have to say when I handed the items back because I used to go put them back by myself, then you guys told me that the fitting room attendants actually prefer if you just bring them to them so they can put them back the right way. So I handed them back to the girl and she goes, you don't want any of these? <laughs> These are the things I go through in public to make you guys happy. I hope you're finally relieved that I've done this video. I know you guys have been asking me forever. I've got a running list on my phone of stores that I wanna go to in 2019. You'll have to let me know if you have any suggestions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, for supporting these videos. Please remember that size means absolutely nothing. If you wanna see sneak peeks of videos that I'm gonna be filming in the future or partake in polls or anything like that, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of sneak peek stuff over there. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you at my next one. Bye.